Hi and welcome back to Staying In For A Pint. This is Ethan. And that's Kieran. And this is a Halloween special episode, as you can tell, because of the mood lighting. I mean, orange. Orange. And the ghosts. And the pumpkins. And the bats. And the witch. Oh, that's Ethan. Yeah. Funny guy, funny guy. <laughs> and go on. So, <laughs> you lost already. So, this is a Halloween episode because we were sent this. Monster. Free of charge. Somehow. <laughs> by Torside. Um, so this is an Imperial uh, whiskey aged uh, candle wick. Now we aren't reviewing candle wick, but we're reviewing something similar very soon. You need to explain to me all these in definitions. Fire as well. These are the names of the. These are the names of okay. it. Okay. Okay. So this has been aged for an extra year in a wooden whiskey barrel after it was brewed. Mm-hmm. Okay. So when you taste it, you're gonna get woody flavors. And you're gonna get a very strong whiskey flavour. Now this episode is a bit different. The fact we're only gonna do one beer. Mm. Do you want to tell them the reason why it's only one beer, Kieran? Um, because it's nine point five percent. Nine point five percent. So I'm not gonna remember the whole video. <laughs> so this, hence why we have water as well. Yeah. Just in case Kieran needs it. We did get have to buy something in order to get this for free, though, didn't we? We did. What did we buy, Kieran? We bought these fancy new glasses. We did. We got a glass. Four side as well. This was our Christmas present to each other. I hope you've also got Christmas a really... present in October. Exactly. I hope you all got a really nice noise there of the bottle opening on the new microphone. So, yeah, we got these glasses. These are from the 2019 Smoke Fest. Obviously, they haven't been able to do one this year. Mm. Um, and I also never got to the Smoke Fest, which really upset me. But we have a glass from it now. And now we've got a bottle opener as well. And we also got a free bottle opener each. So we're, we're loving that. I still that. can't use it though. I still don't understand you how it still works. don't understand how to use it. Um, so I'm going to pour yours first. Oh, here we go. Okay. You're having the first attempt for me, or you? Oh, we'll try at the same time. So what colour is it, Kieran? One black. Have you had a look at that? It looks like oil, except it's not thick. It's so... Hold it up so the camera can see, Kieran. I was going to see my face, so why the hell are you doing this? Indeed. It's like Coke, but not the fizz. Indeed. Now these <laughs> bottles... <laughs> <laughs> what a crap. <laughs> <laughs> these bottles are also <laughs> cast condition. <laughs> so, <laughs> so there's a bit of sediment in the bottle <laughs> Um, we were just going to let this whole uh, this whole thing run, but I think Kieran might need so a break. It, it might be a more funny than last time. I don't. I am fine with that. No, I'm fine with it going all the way. Okay. Yeah. Right. Are you are you ready to try it? Have you smelt it first? Have you smelt it? Oh, I've had it before. So you instantly get the spirity taste of a of a whiskey, straight away. It's just hits you straight away. It doesn't smell like a beer, really. Yeah, it doesn't smell like anything I like at all. Well, you've had something similar before. How much was that, though? How much percentage was that? That was 9.2. Well, this is 9.5, a whole point three more. Mm. We'll see how you go then. Mm. You ready? ready? Chin chin, new glasses, first time. Now, what do you think? You can be totally honest, because I didn't like the lagers last week. Oh, I felt it when I breathed in then. Yeah. Um, it's not as bad as I thought. I thought it'd be like much worse than that. I can definitely taste the amount of the massive alcohol in it. Don't like it. Don't like it. I still have it. Yeah. For the banter. <laughs> For the end of video clips, <laughs> your head down the toilet. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I'm not a massive fan. Not a massive fan. I really like it. it. And I'm not just saying that because I really like the brewery and the guys and for them sending it free, like, I'm that so happy. Change the taste of beer, though, does it? But I honestly, I really, really like the flavour of it. Mm. I love the woody flavour. Like, we know... In the last few episodes, we've probably all worked out now that I really like a smoky tasting beer. Um, hence why next week we have an IPA. Just spoil it. 
and and a smoky beer you know if you've seen on instagram on our stories you know what's coming because there's been teasers um but i really like it because it doesn't taste of anything no no it does taste of something you can still yeah. you you as you breathe in and out you can still feel the woody whiskey flavor in the throat oh my god but the actual taste of it is just so smooth it's does it's not heavy it doesn't it's not difficult to swallow no i, I it's, agree with it's you really there. it's really it's not a thick beer you know when something like if you have a proper guinness or a proper really thick stout sometimes it's a bit treacly to swallow whereas with that it's so thin you know there was no head when we poured it out no um i really really i really like it i hate it what rating are you giving it you see, I. How can you drink it like that? You just took two sips. I don't understand how you like these things. I just love a smoky flavour. You know that you've got me to like IPAs and things. Yes. Yeah. This is. This not, is a long way. This off. is like not. I will never in a million years have this ever again. Unless I'm like leathered. I mean, you've had it before when we, and you weren't leathered at that point. Yeah, but it wasn't this actual drink, was it? No, but it was very similar. It just wasn't whiskey aged. It was still a nine point five percent imperial stout. Um, I think it's the whiskey that's yeah, because you're not a massive fan of that, are you? Mm. So you know the stories. Yes, I know the stories. Um, but I don't know. I really, it's the it's the constant flavour that it keeps on hitting you with in every breath and you might not like it because you don't like the whiskey mm. but it's every breath there's a new hit of like the same flavor but it's just so continuous and because of that whiskey barrel it's like a whiskey when a whiskey hits you you feel it going down it hits yeah. you here it's warm constantly it's the same with this that's where the flavor and the smell and the taste is coming from it's coming straight up and back out and it's coming through my nose i i, I really like it but well, that's just me. Um, as I said, it's getting towards dark season. We're in spooky season now, apparently. So it's now dark season. And, you know, this is the colour that a beer should be at this time of year. You shouldn't be drinking something that's almost as clear as water at this point in time. Um, I, I really like it. I No, I couldn't drink this all night. I could probably drink one of these and then I'd probably have to stop or I'd have something before it and then move on to this near the end of the night. <laughs> but I really, really do like it. It's not warming on you, is it? No, it isn't. Is it getting worse? No, it's just the same awfulness that it is, in my opinion. Horrible, horrible thing. No offence to tour side on your behalf. Yeah, no offence. It's just, I'm just it's... not as much of a pro- I say professional. I'm not much of a drinker than he is. Yeah. You're not saying you're a drinker. No, thanks, mate. I've <laughs> got a problem with that. <laughs> but I'm, I, I'm not special. I don't specialise in ale yeah. per se. That's the aim of this but, podcast, yeah. isn't it? And these reviews, you know, we're, we're trying to... They Why do educating Kieran not yeah, staying yeah. for a pint, to be honest? Yeah, that's that could be. But well, then that means I'm dumb. But questions. <laughs> <laughs> Question um, one: What are you doing at uni? Question two: What's the difference between a banana and an egg? <laughs> egg yolk yellow, the same as the peel. <laughs> same, same as the peel. The peel. Yeah, the peel. Yeah. Skin. Skin. Um, but I really like it. Um. Thank you, Torside, for sending it out for free. Cheers. It's a uh, obviously, you know, it's a change. It's a ch- it's 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 different. You know, we've we've stuck with craft beers and IPAs in the last couple of well since we started. Really, mm. you know, we started off with that box of real ales that we had, which was woeful. And would you? What do you think? Speckled hen compared to this. What are you rating higher? Well, I don't know how how, how I'd rate this, but if you were to ask me. Also, I can't remember what I rate this pick on him. Oh, I can't remember either. I'd have to check my phone. Yeah. If I had to choose between the old speckled hen yeah. to drink or this, I'd choose the old speckled hen. Okay. Because it's easy to drink. It is a lot easier to drink. 
Um, and I wouldn't have to do <laughs> Whereas I, I would, sick. I'd much rather sit there, whilst you're having four speckled hens, mm. I'd much rather just have one of these. No. And I think I'd have, I'd be quite happy with that because, again, you're still getting more and more flavours coming through. I'm going to have to clear my throat. I don't know why I've cut it, not cleared my throat yet, but I don't need to. I can speak easier now without a bubble in my throat. Um, well, I just really like it. Um, again, thank you, Torside, for sending it out. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, you can come in if you want. Yeah, thank you for the for the bottle openers in little key rings. They're really cool. I'm going to teach Kieran how to use it at some point. Um, just keep us a key ring. The, the glasses... I mean, we're oh, looking. I really like the glasses. They're really, ni- they're so nice to hold, and they they look nice. You know, we like the the stemmed glasses, hence the the flavourly glasses that we've been using. But now we can hold a whole pint in one glass, and uh, give me chills. Next week's episode, also sticking with the same boys. Same what? Same boys. Glasses. What? Well, no, the beer. Oh. Um, Tall side brewery. Yeah. Um. Mixing it up, two very very different beers. You can tell how much I don't enjoy this. No, don't finish it then, man. I'll finish it later. Um, no, because you have to finish. No, yeah, that's true. I have to pause it so I can neck it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll finish it off. But it's it's different, and um, do you know what? I'm proud you've had it because Thanks, I know. Dad. <laughs> All right, granddaddy. <laughs> I know looking at it, you would have looked at that and gone, one, where's the table stop and where's the beer begin? And two, why have I put myself through this? Well, I was thinking, why does it look like oil? Yeah. And now I'm thinking, why the heck am I still drinking it? Well, I'm, I'm thinking, I don't want to get, I don't want to eat until one up me. Exactly. You know, even I, I finished that horrible lager last week. It wasn't horrible though, it was just lager. Yeah, it just wasn't nice. It was it was it was not much of a flavour to it. I, I think I'd like it if there wasn't if it wasn't whiskey brewed. Alright. Would you like me when I come back from uh, from Christmas holidays? No. To bring you I don't want you to come back to me. <laughs> no, go on. Would you like me to bring back the non imperial version of Candlewick? What percentage is it? Your stomach's making some funny noises. Well, they don't accept it, does it? Um, I, I don't, I don't know. Uh, if uh, if Torside are watching, they could put it in the comments. But who knows if they're watching? Um. But yeah, have you got anything you want to say on the beer, on the, beer. On the brewery, on the the? Well, we were I mean, saying that we were going to talk about the uh, the logo, the, the logos, and the uh, what's that on the logo? What's it like? I thought it was a fin or something. I think it's meant to be one of the, like... That's an octopus, is it? Yeah, so the monster's an logo octopus. is an octopus, I believe. Oh, what's that? And then no. I believe that that looks... That, show, show, show the viewers. To me, that looks like a um, an Egyptian god. Do you know the one... Do you know the... Uh, do you know the... With the ears and... Oh, the dog? Yeah, the dog one. Yeah, but there's no dog face. No, it's no, but it's ears. only part of it. I thought it was like a whale fin. Oh, mm. yeah, could be. What do you think of the actual branding itself? I think it's decent. It's nice and yeah. clean. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm not going to keep on saying what I think on it because uh, it just sounds a bit biased at that point, doesn't it? I mean, yeah. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, this was my Christmas present a few years ago. <laughs> Actually, it might have been that one because it's a bit small. And this is tiny. Yeah, <laughs> it's a medium one. We're just stretching it down. I think I got this one for for helping out. Um, yeah, I mean, it's nice to try something new. Mm. We have got a couple more beers, as we said on the last episode. We uh, went into town and yeah, we've stacked up, haven't we? We we managed to go get a coffee and got a beer. Doesn't sound like a bad day out to me. Uh. They are a bit summer related though. Don't matter. So. Um, they won't fit the season, but that's fine. Who knows? We might end up drinking them during the day. Who knows? We still have to put on a podcast, don't we? Though? Exactly. A review of it. Exactly. Yeah. But might not be the nice dark background setting. Um. So we've got those in. We've got 
leaves in as well. Mm. And uh, we're now. We got, is it I'm Spartacus? I'm Sp- Well, you've told them the name now, but we've got I'm Spartacus. Well, there you go. We've got an I'm Spartacus, but they don't know what it is. I'm Spartacus, and we've also got fire damage. So I'll let you guys guess which one's the smoky one. <laughs> and why am I doing this to myself? <laughs> and um, yeah, we've got a couple more ideas coming mm-hmm. up. We've got another big season coming up. Is it now eight weeks off? Oh, Christmas. It's off Christmas. Christmas. It's Christmas. Um, so we will definitely be having a Christmas special. Do you see in sight? This should be a meeting and not a um, review at the minute. Well, Do you see us having? Is it dessert beers? Like chocolate beers, I suppose. What's it called? Well, there's chocolate stouts. Yeah. Do I see us having that? Yeah. I could drink a chocolate stout. Could you I drink love, a chocolate? I love chocolate. Okay. I don't know whether you could drink a chocolate stout. Why? But a chocolate stout is a uh, stout's like Guinness is a stout. I've had Guinness before. I didn't like it. I had it. Okay. Yeah, we can. But see. it doesn't taste like charcoal, like Guinness. We will try and get a, a chocolate stout in. <sighs> And um, I'm really hoping that we manage to get some Christmas beers in, so we can do a Christmas episode. Obviously, this episode's a little bit shorter because it's uh, only one beer, but I think we could probably get two what, Christmas beers in. What do you count as a Christmas beer? Usually, it has Father Christmas on the front of it, right? And it will have um, Christmassy spices such as cloves and cumin and nutmeg mm. and things like that. Oh, for the neck. Um, things like that in it. Um, it's usually quite dark. It's it's usually between an amber and a dark beer. Right. Okay. I think I prefer the amber to the dark one. Yeah. What was the dark one last time? What on the podcast? On the re- last review. No. Right. Okay. The last review we had a lager, and uh, a hoppy. Oh yeah, we did it. Didn't hoppy we? IPA. Um, but. On that, we've just got to finish these beers. What would you rate it? Me, personally. This is going to be the biggest one I've given so far. Four. I'm giving it a 3.25. And, like, no matter how many times I've said, I love this beer, there's still, there's beers that I've had in the past which top it. Mm. There's beers that I know in the future will top it. Hence why I've never given a five out. I feel like a five is just me giving up at that point. If I find a five and give it a five on tap, what's the point of having a beer? Exactly. What's the point of me ever having a beer again? Well, maybe it's like limited to that place and you can't deliver it. Maybe if I ever brew a beer, that could be my that could be my five. That's a bit biased because you made it. Yeah, but you I can't know review that. your beer. No, no, but I'd make it to what I like. If I, I was, like if I was, or if I turned around to a brewery and went, I would like a beer. Which tastes like this, 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 and this. We make it. If I was to have a brewery and I'd make a beer, yeah, then I don't think I would ever try it. Oh, you'd have to try it because you have to know what it. You know, I wouldn't like make myself a drink. I wouldn't pour myself a glass afterwards. Like, of course, I'd try it. No, you. you I wouldn't have a pint of it. No, you take tasters out of it constantly. Tasters, yeah, but after the finished product, I wouldn't go. I'll have a pint of that. Well, no, because it's my. Oh no, if I if I had a brewery and I went into a pub and went, right, I'm going to have a pint, mm-hmm. and my brewery was on, probably wouldn't have it, but if I'm running a beer festival, or if I'm on a carnival, mm. I'm not going to drink water when I've got unlimited amounts of beer, That's which I point. can tap myself That's off, a, good point. a half pint, Sorry. tap myself <laughs> off, tap, okay, okay, sorry, tap yeah. myself <laughs> off, <laughs> flipping that, you've had enough, <laughs> Tap myself off every uh, five minutes, or whenever I want to want to restock. That's that's the that's the goal, isn't it? One day, mm. I'd love to to have a brewery of my own. In Williams and Williams and Co. I mean, it's a bit of a dull name. Not gonna lie. I was gonna say Ethan and Williams, but no, it's just <laughs> Ethan and Williams. <laughs> and who's who's the Williams? Is Ethan and Williams and Co. Um, I keep on forgetting that the microphone's down here, rather than over there, which is confusing me. But talk to the camera. Exactly. But you can hear me cracking my fingers. And Don't crack around. your fingers then. Or slap your lap. You just did that. Anything else to say on beers in general, or anything in general? 
But it is in general. I'm looking forward to it because we're now in dark season. The thing is, I don't know whether to look forward to it. Cause it is, in my opinion, it is now dark season. Yeah. And I've started off with this. Yeah. I mean, we've gone in deep. But the only reason why we've had this now mm. is because it's Halloween. It's because it's Halloween. It's called a monster. That's the only... Like, we were going to hold this off for... We it, were, yeah. It was going to be probably one of the December videos. The story is we were going to have it later on in the year, near the end of the se- end of the year. Yeah. And then we said, let's do a Halloween special. Yeah. And you said, we need to think of a beer to buy. Yeah. We want in a pumpkin one. Or yeah. And I said, like and I that. said, we've ordered that. Yeah. Monster, monsters in Halloween. Yeah. It was a good show. So. And I regret my decision. <laughs> You know, if it maybe maybe if we'd started off with some dark beers and we built our way up and we got a bit stronger, we yes. added in different flavors, the smoky flavors, the woody flavors to it. Then by the time we hit this, you wouldn't feel as. It, it's just the whiskey. I can't. It's can't it, stomach it at this point in time. I can't. I can never stomach it. No. I mean, I don't usually. I I think I I've, can't even like, don't even like to smell the whiskey. I've drank whiskey probably about three four times in my life. One of them was this February, um, and I'm not a massive fan of it. Mm. But when it's because it, it's just aged in that barrel, and it's just it's just that little bit of flavour, the little bit of warmth in the back of the throat, and coming up through the up through the chest. It's just a really, really, really tasty beer, in my opinion. Is it though? It might not be in your opinion, but in my opinion, it is. Okay. Have you got anything you want to add? What are you rating it? Well, I'm just going to say I need to rate it, don't I? Yes, you do. See, I want, I, in my opinion, I want to rate it really low, but I don't want to have it. Don't want you to, no, 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 no. These, these are your ratings, you know. The whole point of this podcast, although I'm ra- I, I'm reviewing them as well, the, it's the point the, of the podcast... It's for the viewers who yeah. may be... Like, we'll do a little bit of a backstory whilst, we dr- whilst yeah. we're drinking. The, last pa- the past year, two years, that was since we've known each other... All I've drank is what you call flowers, yeah, which is ale, and all you've drank until well, the past life year is is lagers, and I'm drinking a mix of it. And over the course of the two years, I sort of brainwashed you, so you start trying the lighter beers and you start trying the IPAs, and you started to really like the light beers, and then you sort of, then we went away during lockdown, yeah, and then you come back and you start enjoying IPAs, mm. which is what we started off with. It's a really nice in betweeny sort of beer. A lot of people that like ales don't like IPAs. They're too hoppy on them. Um, and you come back and you're really enjoying them. I mean, I go into the pub by myself when when you're not here. Yeah. Or when I don't remember when it was now. And the other week. No, because pubs weren't open the other week. Or were they? Yeah, they were. You went to Spoons and you bought Punk. No, I went to Vinyl by myself. Ah, oh, right. One day. And I was there like, all right, can I have a, the vinyl? Yeah. And I've just drank that now there. Yeah, because it's one, it's cheaper, it's nicer, it's it's smooth. Um, shout out to the vinyl. Let us do a, a video there. Yeah. Come on, Sean. Yeah, one day, one day. You know you want, you want to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just staring into the camera going, you know you want to. <laughs> um... And so the whole point is trying to, one, broaden your horizon so you get to try more beers, and two, so that people that are watching, which, or if there is anybody watching, that doesn't like ales at this point in time, start seeing the transformation that you sort of go through. Because if you think about it, you know, he didn't like ales a year ago. Now that you're saying this, I'm thinking of all the names for the podcast and I'm staying here for a pint now. I'm thinking the alcohol with Rangers of Kieran. <laughs> no, because when, when we leave uni, what's going to happen then? The channel will just die. At least if we do staying in for a pint, we can both do separate reviews. That's a good point. I was thinking this the other day, you know. When we leave uni, at the mm. end of this year, once you finish crying, we will... We'll, we might have... <laughs> we'll be there like, what's going to happen with this? Because we've only just started it up. It could be like once every... Well, even, we wouldn't even have to do it together at that point. We could then, we both got access to everything. We could just turn around and go, I'm going to review this beer and mm-hmm. I'm going to put it on. And then I go, I'm going to review this beer and I'm going to I mean, I don't know how to edit, do I? You won't need to edit at that point. I can you just, just film it and upload it. Right, okay. I'll need to get a camera. And yeah, just put it on phone on a tripod. I'll just buy a tripod. 
All right, you, you know it's a good place to get them from. Um, but other than that, you know, like we're grand. Mm. Don't talk about anything else but the year. Anything you want to talk about, like generally, Halloween. I don't like Halloween. We had this discussion today. Yeah. Halloween has become commercialised along with every other. We won't get into that. Religious holiday. We won't get into that because you know I know you have a, a very strong opinion, passionate opinion on it. Well, it's took, not. Me, it took me fifteen minutes to get a word in. It actually did. I counted as well. It took a Halloween, just Halloween. Um, why don't you like Halloween? Why don't I like Halloween? Yeah. It's commercialised. Apart from the fact that it's commercialised. Um, I don't know. I've never really did it as a kid. I did it once when I was on holiday in Scotland. What happened? Uh, Scotland's very different. You have to. Oh, been, so I wouldn't know. You you have to tell a joke to get your your treats, rather than just knocking on right. And you can only knock on people that you know as doors. Well, I don't need to tell me joke. I'll just turn up. Yeah, you are the joke. <laughs> That's um, why I said it. So um, it's very different. Whereas here, you know, people just knock on random as doors asking for. Didn't it treats. usually? Was it American first? I think it was because they. It was like boxes or something. My parents told me like years ago they were in boxes well, instead yeah. of costumes. Do you know what it was originally? Yes. I'm gonna tell people what it is originally because they don't like a lot of people don't really know. Can you talk for this section? Okay, you can put your tap me on the shoulder when you know, <laughs> when you stop. So Halloween was originally well, it's All Hallows Eve, isn't it? And um, originally it was when priests would wear costumes, um, because it was suggested that All Hallows Eve was the last night that the dead or the recently deceased were able to haunt it's growing on me is it no it's not <laughs> they were able to haunt those that were living and uh, that's 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 where halloween came from yeah i'm not a massive fan of that either. no i do go out because it's a social chance to go out and the social aspect of it it's yeah. not this year i mean no but last two years we were at uni i went out both times mm. the first year was a shambles Second year was a shambles. I didn't go out either. Well, you know, so it was with me and Halloween night. Me and Liz. Yes. The maze. Yes. Um, and then, apart from that, I don't really like Halloween because I don't, obviously, I don't go trick or treating. No. And the amount of kids that knock on your door is annoying. We just cut the curtain. Yeah. So, what are we doing this Halloween, Kieran? Drinking. We're drinking. What else are we doing? Drinking. Drinking. I thought I'm gonna get some donuts. I'm gonna eat donuts. <laughs> you should try that after a few years. <laughs> and um, yeah, we'll have a grand night. Mm. There's no need to to go out drinking out places when you can drink in. Well, there's nowhere else to drink, is there? Well, pubs are open. Some pubs that have some food are open. Mm. Um, but there, there's no no need to go out anywhere, especially with the current climate. You know, it's safer. It's going and to it's really shop. cold as well, isn't it? And it's getting rain. cold now. The rain today was horrendous. I've never seen anything like it. Um, but you know, it's getting to the, you know, it's cold. So mm. why don't we just go to the bargain booths on the corner, buy a couple of crates? Now they know where we live. Near a bargain booths. Bargain booths. So if anybody wants we to drop live in the up. attic of Bardigan Bar- Bar- Bardigan Booth. Bardigan Booth. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like something in Wales. <laughs> but um, no, that's what we'll do. We'll probably buy a couple of crates and drink it all in one mm. night. I think that's a safe for Christmas as well, to be honest. What, are you staying here for Christmas? No. No, I don't think why. Because you should... After dinner. After dinner? Well, you'll be having a food coma. Every year you have a food coma. Oh, I do. Because we make the best Christmas dinner. Right, we're going on a tangent now and it's my fault for once. Mm. I need to keep drinking. Mm-hmm. Well, unfortunately. We're reaching the end of one, the podcast, two, the pint. But think about it. Oh. You can wash that down <laughs> with water later on. It might be toilet water. I don't think I still need to rate it, to be honest. Yeah, you still haven't rated it. <sighs> what are you giving it? Considering the alcohol content, content, that's the only positive for me. Okay. Not having to go at tour side. I'm, I'm, from the words I've heard from Ethan in the past two years, you're a brilliant brewery, but it's just not my beer. No. I no, don't, I don't like the colour. It's 
No, it's not racist. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's I understandable. I don't like the colour of it. I don't like the taste of it. I don't like the whiskey flavour of it. That's the taste, yeah. Yeah, I don't like the smell of it. That's the whiskey again. I still don't like the smell of it. Okay. I'm giving it... I'm conflicted. By a high one. Or a low two. Like a 1.75 or... 1.75, 2 or 2.25. I'm not going to sway your decision. Because I know that you don't believe that I'm it giving is. it a 2. Really? Stick I, in the middle. I thought he was going to go for 1.75 to be honest. Now I'm conflicted again. You swayed my decision man. No, see I told you I would. I think I'll give it a... <laughs> That didn't taste good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it a one. A one. No, one point seven five. One point seven yeah. five. Final decision, John. Okay, it's locked in. I wish I wasn't. Yeah, I'm locked in now. Locked in, and he's seen off his pint because this is his last thing. Is do I want to? Wouldn't it? It would sadden me if I couldn't finish a pint. It will sadden you because we also won't be end end the podcast. Never. This was meant to be like a five minute review and it's, and it's gone well, on forever. considering you knew what was going to happen to me. Yes. And there we go. Our glasses are empty. empty. And therefore... That's it from seeing me for a pint. Cheers. Thank you very much. <laughs>